Or on the defensive line, it seems like they're losing weight. Did you lose any going into this year? Uh, I probably lost about five, six pounds, but it fluctuates. You know, it's high, but you got to try to replenish it. So I feel like we lost a little weight, yeah, but nothing too significantly. Wait, was that something that was a big emphasis from the coaching staff for just the defensive line as a whole to drop weight and just put you put all of you guys in a better position to, to run and be more mobile than maybe you guys were collectively last year? I, f- I feel like yes, but I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to lose weight. We were just as a, as a unit sat down and looked at what we could do better. That's one of the things that we came up with, you know, try to be a little lighter, just to, you know, be able to move around but still bring that physical effort to the ball. So I feel like yeah, uh, you could say that. So how have you progressed going into this year? I'm sorry. I said, how have you progressed going into this year? I feel like I feel like I've been doing pretty good. You know, getting back to normal, getting back into the routine and swinging things. So I feel like I've been progressing pretty good each and every day. How much is tech- tackling technique emphasized and keeping the head up? Oh, definitely, it's a big thing in today's game. You know, especially with the quicker backs that we play, you really got to focus on your technique. So you know, we practice it every day, every day during camp, and I feel like we've been doing a good job at it. And safety is, is that part of the message and, and the tackling technique? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, you never want to go out there and hurt yourself or hurt someone else. So, you know, that's definitely an uh, emphasis that we put on it. But if you use the proper techniques, you won't get hurt. How are you feeling physically and health-wise and everything? I feel fine. I feel good. It's still early on in camp. So, like, you know, hopefully I could keep feeling like this throughout the whole season. But right now, I feel great. So, Jared and Nation were both talking about focusing on improving their pass rushing going into this year and some of the other, like, technical type things they were doing. From a technical standpoint, what kind of things were you doing during the course of the spring, the summer? And, and from that standpoint, where do you feel like you've improved? I just, I just, throughout the course of the whole offseason, I've just been trying to improve my intensity and my effort and my get off off the ball. And I feel like I've really done a good job at doing that. But, you know, like we said before, it's just it's a process. You got to keep pushing every day. What is Ashawn like among the team? Obviously, you know, he, he's got presence, especially with us. You just kind of see it. You know, even in the team picture, you can kind of see a glare in his eye. But what, what's he like among, among the teammates? Oh, well, Ashawn's cool. You know, he. he no, he, he just he, he's more to himself at times, but you know he's just he's just another one of the guys. You know sometimes he's more outgoing than sometimes he's not. So it just depends. But you know Ashawn's a cool guy. We love having him around. You, you sometimes go up against the tight ends with Vogler gone. He was a main blocking tight end. How's that group come along in blocking? Oh, they're doing a good job. You know their technique has been outstanding. They've been getting better, better get off off the ball. So you know it's, it's just a process. Something they're gonna have to work at. You know, but they have been getting a lot better. Who are the best blockers at tight end? You think? I mean, it would be hard to say. I haven't gone against all of them, but some of our blocking team, you know, we have Brandon Green, you know, we have Toph, Lenoy Smith, you know, OJ Howard's gotten a lot better. I feel like he improved the most. So, you know, they're all doing a pretty good job. You look at third down and third down defense and kind of that was a big factor in the Sugar Bowl. How much, you know, is that, you know, those kind of things motivating at this point? Oh, it's it very motivating, but there's a lot of factors that motivated us from last year. But like, like, like we all say, this is a new team, so we're trying to focus on what we can do to affect our future right now. So we're just taking it one day at a time and just getting ready for the second practice coming up. Kirby also mentioned some of the turnovers and, and trying to avoid few plays. Is there anything on defense line that you guys can do to avoid that, or is that more on the back end of things? I'm sorry, you said that one more time. The big plays and turnovers, is that something more for the secondary to deal with, or are things on the defensive line that can affect that also? Oh, it's definitely everybody. If we get more pressure on the quarterback, it'll be harder for him to, you know, to get all the long passes and vice versa. If the secondary helps us fill the gaps more, it'll help contain the big runs. So we just got to work together as a unit and give great effort to the ball, 11 hands to the ball every time a tackle is being made. You touched on a little bit about tonight's practice, the first time of, of the two-a-day sessions. What was your first two-a-day sessions like, and, and, and uh, you know how, how tough is it to get back out there and, and go back to work? You talking about as a freshman or like what do you? Yeah. As, as a freshman, it's definitely something that you you, you have you, you might have done it, but probably not to this standard at Alabama. So it's definitely a wall you're gonna have to get over. But we have a lot of older guys to help the young guys get over it. You know, tell them what they should prepare for, and how to get their body right and their mind right. So I, I think it'll be good for them. You know, and as a team, I feel like we we had a good practice day, and we're gonna <coughs> come out there and try to improve tonight. What's the process like in between the practices? Just eating, just get some rest. What do you do? Eating, rehab, cold tub, definitely hot tub before practice. And you know, if you're having trouble with the playbook, going over the plays, meeting with coaches, there's just a lot of little things you could always be working on when you're not on the field. You count down until Sunday when you get a day off. I'm sorry. You counting down until Sunday when you get a day off. Man, I can't even look that far ahead right now. <laughs> I'm excited about it, but we have got a lot of football between then. So, but definitely, I'm excited about getting a little break every now and then. Yeah, what was said during your exit meetings following last season, uh, just in terms of the positive stuff that the coaching staff felt like you did and the stuff that they felt like you need to 
work on coming off last season? Oh, just, you know, being a little more physical, getting better, get off off the ball, just little stuff like that, and just pro uh, progressively getting better at what I was already doing. So, you know, it's just tweaking a few things here and there and just being more consistent. Do y'all feel pass rush was kind of an issue last year for y'all? Was that, because obviously that seems to be a focus this year, uh, getting off the ball quicker and stuff. Was pass rush a problem? I want to say it was a problem. I feel like we, we did a pretty good job at it, but it's just something we have to work on and get better. We could be doing a lot better, but I, I want to say it was an issue last year. You mentioned that it's a, there's a lot more football. Last question. Besides the time off, does it seem to you that it's a long time to the first game, or is there so much going on that it seems like it's rushing at you? Not at all. Right around the corner, I feel like we just played Ohio State. I feel like we just got our last season. So football season's coming quickly, and we couldn't be more excited for it. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.